All right, what is up everyone? Good morning. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Here we are. MJ found the other toy that makes noise. But here's all the babies in here chilling. So there's the two are up there, Sissy and Landis. We've got Lock Dragon right here. And I'm snazzy under here. He's playing with the toys. But look at those two. Such sweethearts. But yeah, we sold in the night. Uh, we got an offer on this stack of games. And we sold those for 25 bucks. And we have another offer on this for 40 which I actually declined because I think it's worth more than that. And also the Castlevania. It still has. I turned the offers off because I didn't want to deal with it anymore because I was getting so many. Uh, I would say around five offers, an offer an hour. Two or actually like two offers an hour since I posted it, but they were all low offers. Um, I know from a couple of reliable sources that the game's worth 90 to $100, and the Black Edition is definitely worth money. But this is now what I'm using for the eBay room just because it's very organized and nice in here and I want to keep it that way. So I'm gonna be posting this morning these tools here. Um, the thread gauge tools, and these little rollers, this whole thing as a bundle. Looking, hoping to get around 50 at least for them. So eBay will tell. People are going to be able to bid on it, and I'm posting the starting bid at like 50, I think. So, let's see where that goes. And yeah, that's the claim. So, pushing along here every day. We have this. I'm going to post the, I think, the Pokemon cards on eBay too, probably as a huge lot, or as two or three lots, maybe the trainer cards. I don't know. It just seems like there's so many cards that. Even if I posted them at 50 cents a piece, be looking at a couple, maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars or a hundred dollars, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's the claim. But today we are in hopes of going to this estate sale that this woman is, had last weekend. My mom went to it and she bought a bunch of stuff. It was $5 to fill a bag. And she thinks the lady might be having it again today or today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Or the lady and my mom kind of like bonded as my mom does. And she said maybe we can just knock on the door and see. Because the whole entire house is just filled with all this, the hoard from her and her mom and other people in her family. And she's trying to sell the house so she's selling everything. So we're going to go over there and see in a little bit what we can do. Nice. All right. <laughs> Memers, my grandma. What are you doing? Is this going to be a big yard sale today? It's inside, but it's got about a billion things there. You got good stuff there, right? We'll see. Well, I don't know. Some yes. of it's good. Some of it's good. All right. Al, big Al. Big, big day out at the sale. What's this? What's the claim today? The claim is to spend all of your money at the sale. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. Living the dream? It's always a dream with me. That's for sure. When I wake up, it's a dream. And when when you I walk sleep? around, it's a dream. When I drive, it's a I'll dream. Get in, the car, get in the car, I'll give you a scar. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold, right? <laughs> All right, we just pulled up to this estate yard sale clean out that they have a big sign out front that says $5, fill a bag. So it is on. My grandma and Alan and my mom are coming in the other car, but let's check this out just to see the sign, because this is too funny. Fill your five cent plastic bag for $5. Yeah. 
yard sale items priced to sell so that's funny how they have that because they now charge five cents in the new year for a plastic bag at the stores what's the claim claim is is it five dollars for the bag yeah do All you have right. to bring your own bag though i'm sure they provide it because like you could bring like a huge trash bag and be like five dollars for a bag they might be happy Let are your you mom do that are you supposed to bring your own bag you bring your own bag. I have bags in the car. I have my own bag, and she said it was too big. Didn't I tell you? What's up, Alan? I told. I just said that. Not much. At my age, I've seen it all. Living the dream. We saw you driving the other day. Oh, you a did. A couple times. Did you follow me? Nah. You miss it. Yeah. Hi, Hi, yeah. What's the claim about the sale here? About who what? The sale we got to get going on. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Is it borderline hoarder house? It's a hoarder house, not hoarder. Perfect. She said borderline, not at all. Fully is a hoarder house, so we're going for it. The bell. Ginger. Ginger. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Sammy. Hey, that's my son. No. Oh, he's going to take pictures. Is everything for sale? Everything except the dog. Except Ginger. Ginger looks like uh, Gabby. Yeah. yeah. Only like thing is, dog. Ginger has a little black mark on her tail. That's all. She's brown except that little black mark. I see mark. it. Well, there are three bedrooms on it. I turned the lights on because nobody was here, so feel free to We're turn good. the lights on. We're okay. Good. How you doing, Mom? A lot of goodies. Yeah, okay, Phyllis, how are you? Yeah. yeah. Winding down. Keep forgetting. I feel bad. I know when I get in town, I'll have to take it to her. How much are these lamps? Well, they were, I was trying to get like 15 bucks for them, but no one seemed to want to go for them. Well, I'm going to use these for something yeah, so someday. It was $16, and I, all those shells are from San Francisco. I always grab fanny packs, but it's like... Fannies? Let me see the fan. That's cool, though. Yeah, we could put one of our patches on it, though, when we get them. One day, I'll find it. Did you get it back, Matt? Not yet. These suitcases are actually really cool. They're just straight dirty though. was part of a big big combination of things and it still works yeah is it like a record player eight track is that what you mean yeah i, I could do a all a, a, you know about five things on it i guess okay. radio and, yeah it's up is, in pittsburgh I said. yeah yeah okay and that's the same one i think i have it's like a cabinet kind of thing yeah, and then it had two speakers oh yeah yeah that's exactly what we have yeah I don't know if they were brought it about 30 years ago. I don't know. When they first came out. When did A-Trax come out? I can't even remember. Before I was born. <laughs> when were you born? In 91. 91, okay. Maybe not, but around... I remember things like that. <laughs> Do you have a Betamax player in here? No. Do you know what I'm talking about, no, though? No, I don't. It's like a VCR, but it's before VCR? No, I only have VCRs. Last name here? You might want to keep that. Isn't that your last name? You know, These elephants are cool. Somebody made that for you. You want to keep it? Wow, this is like a miniature, like, way more stuff than I thought in here, huh? Way more stuff than I thought. It's almost overwhelming now. How's this, though? What does this say? Dragons? Yeah, is that cool? It might be worth it. I'll just pick that up. Go ahead and get it. I put it back. Oh, 
I think maybe we should get that hat though. That's a score. Tombstone. Arizona. Been there before. Yeah, I picked that up too. Get that. Very mama. Just cool. Yes. In the Columbia? No, didn't see that. There's a brand new Columbia hat right there, but fucking right. Yeah, there's New Bounds bag. <laughs> yeah, get that. Just to have it, really. Stuff yeah, we gotta go up there, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard to look at everything now. Did you look at the jackets? No. Or does she need this still? Thinking those are cool, right? Everything's for sale in here. This is crazy cat style. That's so cool, those things, though. She grab that. I want that thing. I'll put it up at her house. Here. Shopping. Is that? Yeah. How's this thing? What is this thing? I'm not tall enough. I want to put it in here. What is this thing? This is pretty cool. It's just a radio that's shaped like a... It's pretty cool though. This one? And get it from the top? Yeah. It was like in a Wait, I want to look on this hutch in here because did you look on the hutch in here? Did you? Well, I that's where I found the um, a bunch of car glass and some other antique stuff in here. The hot slice? Like there's Hess truck glasses in here. Yeah, those are a hard sell there, right? Okay, so then. How's it. this thing though? What is it? Oh yeah, get that. She has a lot of this stuff. If someone's a Steelers fan. She has a lot of this <laughs> I got one of these shot glasses in Minnesota Vikings for Terry. Terry. Gonna go upstairs. Did you go upstairs Not before? Today, but before, yeah, I'll come up. Is it a lot? Here's this stuff too. <laughs> I think that's probably the last one. Let me come down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Of course. When you get my age, you gotta go one at a time or hold on. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I put that light on in the closet. And there might be something in there. Thank you. Massive sale in here. Anything in there? Oh wow, what is this? Oh, you get those. You might need more than two bags though. Yeah, I mean, dude. 15 bucks for Look at these candles. What is this? Yeah. some t-shirts in here it might be some vintage claims let's check this out I'm already seeing possibly some gold these are all vintage rivers casino I played I won Bailey 
Paradise, Atlantic City. Garfield Valley shirt. Pretty classic, I must say. It's ruined, but that's cool. Just so much stuff in here. Wild. Look at this Christmas sweater. That is Bobcat style. Well, oh, here we go. Some license plates. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Look at this sweater, this Christmas sweater. No. Is it a getter? Dude, yeah. I'm getting. This is my one bag. I'm already done with. Wait, I'm just gonna get another bag. I thought that was so vintage. Here. I got an antique uh, blanket in here, like an old blanket. Bobcat style.
That's pretty nice. That's neat. Do you want it? Yeah. Where's your pile? That? This pile here. That's an antique. That's a what vintage cassette and radio. Probably a couple bucks, right? Yeah. Nothing too crazy that I can't splurge for. I don't She's know. It's not. Are you digging deep? What's this little dreamer? Those are cool. Don't even really want to touch it, but there's a legit Ouija board right there. Can't be buying that though. That's way too heavy. Alright, so far this is our pile here, so it's going to be about three or four bags. Around $20 so far. Winding down a little here. Alright, just came across what could be a decent heavy score. It has a Masonic symbol on here. And the pages are in great condition. What is it? This stuff has the tag one on it. It's the bag with the tag he was talking about. Yeah, maybe. It's, a nice it's, a whole bunch it's actually very cool. Mamie's coming through with the scores, the though. It smells up. Mamie was it actually doesn't smell, doesn't smell, if you can believe that. Might have been brought in here. I'm wondering if they have the Masonic. Yeah. They do. Yo, look how cool this is, man. Look at this. Oh, wow. Based on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Marvin Gardens, Margate, New Jersey hat. That's Wildcat right oh. there. That's a unique one, huh? It certainly is. Is that from the Monopoly? No. If, if you're a Monopoly fan, you might sit sit, a, sit across the board and say, I bought, bought Marvin Gardens and I have my hat. Need to get another bag. I'm over That's far. true. Dude, this bucket hat from Resorts. Look at this. No, no, you can take it. Alright, so I need to get a sandwich. What did you find in there? I found your brother a pin. That's a dude. Is there more? <laughs> no. Oh, there's other pins in there, though. Yeah, but not Let me like see this. Them. Here's a pen. Uh, it's, these are homemade. This one though, General Mills. Mm -hmm. Just to throw in the bag. I mean, we're already paying for it, you know? Ooh. That's her silverware though, right? How much do you think she's going to charge for this one, too? I don't know. You can definitely do it. Alright, BF Goodrich ice cap. That's not Spanish. I think it's Spanish. What is an ice cap? Okay, so we've got Jasher. Oh, it's like. Where you hold it on your head like, oh, I'm so hurt, I got a concussion. Mm -hmm. oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in the movies. Is there a comic Cupid over there? No. Okay, well, five, ten, how about 20 bucks too much? 
No, that's good. That's good. We can work with it. Okay. Um, would you throw in this suitcase in here, or is that extra? This one, unless that's something. Yeah, well, I was going to let that go for about 10 bucks. My wallet's at so. Yeah, Casper was here. No. Here you go. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I'm not going to get the suitcase. Okay. But. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. I think I have the two bags. If you oh, want. okay. Right? Do you want to do that? And the camera. Yeah. Isn't that something? One of them still arrived. What is? What was the door prize? Well, there was like the we had flowers on the table, a centerpiece, and you know how they put it on the coffee cup, or they put it somewhere. You ever go to banquets like that? No. Well, anyway, the ticket, whatever is there, if you have the star under the cup, you would get it. So I did it a little bit differently because casinos were coming around. So I put the poker chip around. So, and they just looked at the poker chip and I saw, turn it over and if you had the X or the Y, whatever I put on there, you get the centerpiece. Because they used to fight over what was on the table. <laughs> I mean, Where was this? At the casino? No, I, I taught in Pittsburgh. Okay. When I had the faculty luncheon, I always had a little gimmick going. That's Everybody cool. said, what's she up to now? <laughs> it's always good to change it up a little, though. Yeah, Keep well, in, on their toes. instead of always yeah. having a ticket stub and a number, I, I thought those chips would so, eh, go with something different. Variety is the spice of life, right? I hope so. Thank you. All right, you. enjoy. The rest of the sale. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so here's Chunk. AKA Sissy. She's my best girl. She's so beautiful. She wanted to see the stuff we got today. Look, Chunk. All this stuff for $20. Can you believe it? Look, she's interested. That's crazy, right? Alright. She's her... like, yeah, it smells dirty. <laughs> yeah, she likes that smell. Alright. So, today we went to a yard sale slash estate sale. It was pretty much what I called the fill, your, fill a bag $5 sale because that's what their claim was. But we got everything on this table for five, uh, $20. Um, so, so I think we, we scored, what were you saying? So we basically had four bags. Yeah, two filled bags and then the radio and the two books, whatever. And this thing were 10, I don't know, but the Bible was worth it. Either way, here we go. This radio, which I haven't looked up yet, but I know these older radios that play cassettes can go for way more money than you'd ever think unless you knew about it already. But people like the nostalgia. Plus, this is always a good sign when there's not batteries left in the back because that can just ruin the whole radio. But let's see what we're working with here. First, I gotta see. So let me see. I don't know how to turn this thing on now. There it is. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Landis Landito. What's up, big boy? You doing big boy things? Say hi to everyone. Say hi, Landis. No. <laughs> no. Say hi. Landis only comes outside when it's nice out. Where's your sister? Where's Lucky? Where's Lucky? Go get her. Go get Lucky. That sounds This thing doesn't promising. sound good. We might have gotten smoked on this one. Landis wants to help. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. It's warm up here. Alright. <laughs> Radio, not working off the bat. So moving on to the hats. 
that are vintage wool. Uh, it's Pittsburgh sports team. I don't really know which one. I couldn't figure it out. But they're really old. And it has this Harvard sports headwear thing. In the leather on the inside. Really cool though. So we got a giant gyroscope. Which is super old. Pixie toys. From like the 80, wow, 1963, actually. That could sell probably on eBay. Two license plates, which I think they already have at home. Because I was talking to someone about selling them license plates. Two Elvis 8 tracks to go with the other Elvis 8 tracks that we have just to complete the collection more. This is a vintage hat. I'm not sure the theme either. Another, this, I don't know how much this is worth, but this is cool too. Pittsburgh Penguins. I got these because the unwrapped tapes usually sell pretty good on eBay. And this, everything was just so cheap, so why not? Another Bible. Well, this is the first Bible I showed, but not in great condition, but you see the date on here. 1941 so these can sell for a decent amount depending on what they are Sherlock Holmes detective stories I just thought the binding of this book was really cool and it has like a hand on the front I don't know it's probably worth like 10 bucks vintage dragons beanie made in the USA Which is really cool. This is like definitely 10 years old from the Taj Mahal, which is closed now. It's a brand new shirt, but not brand new because it was in that house, but it was never worn. Jackpot winner, Trump Taj Mahal. Vintage Christmas sweatshirt, Santa Claus. This patch, which I have no idea what it is. It's cool, I just threw it in. I did do a little research on this, and it's worth about $30. It's a Masonic Bible, 1971, and it's not written in anywhere. It's in good condition. eBay, it's only 30 I thought it would be more, but that's still good. A cell phone. There's two cell phones, just because I have a bunch of them already, and I like to put them in lot, a lot. I'll put it in a lot. This is an antique ice cap, which I didn't really know if it had any value, but I thought it was really funny because you see it in like old movies when people are holding them up to their heads, when they like hit their heads. That's pretty much it. Some good finds today. Just wanted to show you guys what we got. And I think an easy profit, even if we sold everything here for a dollar each, we still made money. But that's not gonna be the case. Some of these items are gonna sell for 20 each. But I hope you guys enjoyed the five dollar bag deal house yard sale and we are having our own yard sale in two days so it's about to go down so this is what I got I got this wind chime mm. spoon teaks cop or uh, aluminum forget what these guys are called but I like them and they're just funny looking so they're like Native American I don't People. know. I like them for some reason. So I'm going to switch this out and sell this at the yard sale. The one up there. Here, can you have this? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm still not tall enough. How'd you get up there last time? With the ladder. The new wind chime going up. Cool. cool. Hopefully it doesn't blow down in the storm. All the baby boy shoes outside. Because feet stink. Cause his shoes are always crazy dirty. Alright, cruising back to the house from picking up some stuff for the yard sale and came across all this scrap. So, what a dream. AC unit. This is just like a piece of a bike. 
bike handle. I was just wondering what's in here. This is what I was really looking at. Old school Milwaukee Sawzall case with a bunch of blades and stuff in it. Might actually be usable, some of those blades. I'm the guy that would use them. Uh, so. If not, that's just some scrap. Got two beach chairs. One, two. What is this? Some kind of measuring ruler thing. This is like a deep, a deep, deep drill bit. Heavy duty drill bit. Little cart. Could be used to haul some claims. And then we got all these. these extension cords. Might have to just take this whole box. Probably I'm gonna what's this? A little drill there, huh? Can't even get to it. No walker. Probably just scrap, but who knows? Could sell it as is and just say I don't know if it works. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this whole this whole jar in here. Let's just try and get that water out of there, but it's sick. Scrap. And then this guy is has a little bit of metal in it, but I don't know if it's enough. for where this toolbox ain't bad though. This is like an easy sell probably. That's a yard sale sell. About to get this piece in here. Fifty foot long Sears tape. Not bad. All right, look at this. This is what I originally turned around for. Sony Digital Audio Control Center, CD player, VCR, and then a Sony five disc loading CD player. All stacked, ready for the boy. So what a score. I knew it looked like electronics. These are easy five, ten dollars each at the flea or at a yard sale. And if I want to sell them online, probably upwards of 30. The Sony five disc player, if it works correctly, might be worth 80. I don't know. I haven't sold one of those ever online, so I don't know. So in around this area, I think it's probably common at a lot of places that if you sleep on stuff it gets taken pretty easily, like quick. So I bet if we waited 15 minutes and came back around, those might have been gone, either by a scrapper or just someone picking or literally someone that actually was gonna use them at their own house. But you gotta, don't sleep on it. That's what I'm claiming. All right, so got this eight track. Elvis 8-track today at the estate sale, at the yard sale, fill a bag, dollar sale, $5 sale, and I got the 8-track player from a job that we did in Bristol Township, and would you listen to that? I don't know about, like, if I can play a lot of it because it's copyright, but that thing works fully. So now I have a way of testing the 8-tracks that I have. So I guess you can just pull them out. Seems legit, right? Alright, so this one seems like it's working. 
the CD's playing, I put it to five disc changer. Uh, it's always kind of cool to see what people are listening to. Toscanini. NBC Symphony Orchestra. Hmm. So these, I see, with the remote, looks like they were selling for like 70 bucks, but I don't know. Without the remote, I haven't really looked up that much. But these two together, even at a yard sale, are probably 25 for both. So that's a score, mini score. I'm going to just hoard this one, these two, in the eBay room. And this one's definitely going in the eBay room, so I can test the rest of the eight tracks that I have. VCR didn't seem too good. Uh, I don't know. Looks like it might have gotten some water damage. I actually can't use this TV to test it, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I didn't test it yet, though. But another beautiful day down. Found some good stuff. Scored some stuff at that awesome sale. And we are supposed to be selling. Lucky's going to be really sad about this. These furniture right here. We're supposed to be selling it right now on offer up in like the next five minutes. The people are supposed to be here to get it. 50 bucks for something we found in the trash. So can't go wrong with that. Got to going to have to get lucky something else to sit on. I feel bad, but now I know next time we get something, we can put it under that tree for her because she likes that spot. Maybe just these two under the tree, actually. <laughs>